Digital transformation has become an overused buzzword used by organizations selling websites, social media management, or general web services. But that's not what it's really about. Developing your first website or distributing content online is iterative, but it is not transformative. Digital transformation is much more than a buzzword. It's the evolution of your organization to ensure its survival and its growth. Think back to the days of the printing press, or when water turbines were used to power factories, or even when the conveyor belt brought us mass production. We can see that advances in technology have been used to create new products, services, improve operations, and even scale organizations to global levels. We can see that digital transformation is the current incarnation of this long-standing trend. But what is digital transformation? According to Dell, digital transformation puts technology at the heart of the organization's products, services, and operations to help accelerate the business and competitively differentiate itself in order to improve the experience for its customers. Okay, let's take another look at a definition, and this one is from Gartner. Digital business transformation is the process of exploiting digital technologies and supporting capabilities to create a robust new business model. When implemented correctly, digital transformation can enable many industries and organizations to use digital technologies to improve their operational efficiency, provide customer value, and even differentiate themselves from competitors. For example, smart cars are self-driving, smart homes provide us with comfort and convenience, and connected customers share videos online Simply put, technology is changing how the world operates. But what is driving digital transformation? In addition to exponential growth in connectivity, processing power, and reduced storage costs, there are other factors at play here. According to David Rogers from Columbia Business School, there are actually five digital domains that are driving digital transformation. These are customers, competition, data, innovation and value. Let's explore these in a little bit more detail. Customers have evolved from passive targets to dynamic networks that are connected by technology such as social media and online review websites. The competitive landscape has evolved. Organizations are competing with other organizations in adjacent industries that are able to provide greater customer value through the use of technology. Also, connected devices are allowing organizations to transform from a traditional product-based business to a platform-based business model and thus gain a competitive advantage. Organizations realize the importance of exploiting their proprietary data. Narrow artificial intelligence and big data are being used effectively here to generate actionable insights. Some organizations are even aggregating third-party data and layering it in with their own to create additional insights or new value propositions. Innovation has become faster, cheaper, and less risky for organizations that use an experimental approach and an agile development methodology rather than a top-down or waterfall approach. And rather than defending value propositions through branding alone, Organizations can actually use technology to provide additional features and benefits to their products and services and give even greater differentiation. But digital transformation is not for every organization. If your organization resists change and is unwilling to invest in continuous improvement, then digital transformation is not for you. But digital transformation is not exclusively for native businesses, for digitally native businesses, or new tech startups that are born in the cloud. Existing organizations like yours can transform your operations by placing technology and people at the heart of your efforts. Your organization can pursue digital transformation using smart connected devices to capture data, use analytical tools and machine learning to predict patterns, and use other forms of artificial intelligence to improve the services that you provide to your customers. What are some of the key technologies that you should be watching out for? Well, the speed and competitive nature of business is accelerating. 
We already mentioned the exponential growth in processing speed, connectivity, and the reduction in memory storage costs. We can see that the rate of technology advancement has actually outpaced linear business growth. And this has resulted in a new range of advanced tools that are available for organizations who possess the right vision for how to use the technology and the ability to actually leverage that technology itself. The technologies for you to look out for include cloud computing, artificial intelligence, connected sensors, which is also known as the Internet of Things, additive manufacturing, also known as 3D printing, robotics, and distributed ledger technology, also known as blockchain. Your organization must assess how you should respond to the changing market and competitive forces. You see, these technologies are not a silver bullet that would skyrocket your organization, but they are a strategic enabler that will allow you to keep pace with your competitors and meet the needs of your customers. But technology alone is not a replacement for your strategy. Okay, so many academics, consultants, and experts say that digital transformation is not about technology. This is only partly true. The right technology is required, but it is not a replacement for a well-formulated and well-implemented strategy. You can see that technology is an enabler to deliver the strategy set by your organization. So what else do you need? First, leadership. Your organization must foster agile leaders who can assess a changing landscape, define their path through it, and gain buy-in from your organization. Leaders don't ignore change. They see technology as a strategic enabler to navigate that change effectively. The next one is agility. This is the ability to implement new technology and change the processes across the entire organization rather than being locked into legacy systems and older ways of working. Some of the methods that can help you here include Agile, Scrum, Design Thinking, and Two Speed IT. The next one here is data. We can see that data is an asset. You must have a system in place to capture data from around your organization and from your customer touch points. For example, if your organization has a physical environment, such as it's a retailer, distributor, airline, bank, or manufacturer, you can use connected devices. It's the Internet of Things I mentioned earlier. The next one here is insights. Now that you've collected this data, it's important to use it. Your organization must use analytical tools to gain meaningful insights and even make future predictions that can drive better decision making. Next is culture. As we mentioned earlier, it's not all about technology. People and process matter too. Your organization will succeed in its digital transformation journey if you can successfully adapt your processes and support your people. So let's begin to wrap it up. What are the key points to take away today? Environmental forces are driving technology advancement, such as decreasing storage costs, increasing processing power, increasing connectivity, changing customer behaviors, and new organizational approaches. There are five domains driving digital transformation. These include customers, competition, data, innovation, and value. Digital transformation is the evolution of how an organization operates. It allows your organization to deliver better products and services or even neutralize competitive pressures. Finally, it's not all about technology. Senior leadership is required and the right organization culture is key. If you want to know more about digital transformation, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. And remember, digital transformation is about more than technology. It is about leaders with the foresight to see change and the courage to reinvent their organization before others force them to.